Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel as we bring back set reviews for a bit. In this one, we'll be reviewing and checking out the Jungle Chopper bike. Just to remind you how these work, first we'll talk about the set, then the minifigures, and then provide some final thoughts and a rating out of 10. Let's get started. So here we go, here is Lloyd's Jungle Chopper bike for season 14. And overall, I have to say, this is a pretty good set. It is about $20, I think. And right off the bat, one of the things I really like about this set is the sail. I think it's really cool. It looks great with the colors, these hexagon designs that we see present on his suit, and then this transition from green to white with this big yellow symbol with his uh, season 11 symbol right in there, the double uh, the double crossed L in there. So that's really cool. Also, you've got stud shooters right here. That's nice. And I think the idea here is if you take this off, this is kind of like, I guess, a, a catamaran or a midi ship or flyer. I don't know, but I think that is, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Personally, I think this works best as a catamaran, you know, because it kind of already has the sail. But overall, I like that. And then also here, this is a bar that you would lift up and put the Ninja Lloyd in and then close it down. So I think that's nice. And then regarding colors, the colors are great. I feel like this really captures those jungle colors. There are several different shades of green in here. There's this dark green going on here. And then most of the set is kind of this more calm, light green. I also really like the decals and stickers, such as right here. Also you've got his symbol there. And let's go around to the other side because there are some other stickers on this side as well, right here and over there. And also gold. Gold is placed here and there throughout the set. You have it on these blades sticking back. That's great. And kind of this pipe going on over here. Also, I like the wheels. These aren't the typical wheels that you see for LEGO sets. They look a bit different. They have uh, three of these, I guess, some um, axles, I think. Is that the word? Three of these axles or spokes. So that's pretty cool. I also like these as well, these uh, white fangs. However, there is one big issue with this set. Uh, one thing about the set that I think is actually really bad is that, and you're already kind of seeing it, but it, it doesn't really balance well. So even if I were to push it for a bit, it falls over like that. That's something that happens a lot with this set. And it's, it's hard to keep it upright. Even if you just move it a little bit, it tips over. And that's kind of unfortunate, I feel, because in terms of the way it looks, it's a really good set, but it's kind of hard to play around with it if it's always falling over. I also don't like how this sail, you can move it around like this. I don't like that. I wish it was just stuck in one place because as you see with it falling a lot, it, it has a tendency to kind of change the placement of the sail. So I wish the sail was in a fixed position. I think it would be better. But yeah, I mean, this set is really good. Unfortunately, I just wish it would stay on balance more shortly. But first I want to discuss this amulet piece. It's really good. I like how the back is kind of transparent with the purple in the background. And then this uh, this gold symbol of Ohira, I think it looks really good. Also, this amulet was a lot bigger than I expected it to be. In comparison to a minifigure, it's uh, a lot bigger than the head as you see. So yeah, I think that's a cool piece. But yeah, let's take a look at what is, in my opinion, the best of the Season 14 suits. And that's going to be Lloyd. There's just so much detail here. From the moment I first saw this suit in the leaks, I've always personally been a fan. And regarding the hairpiece, the hairpiece is really good. I love what they go for in season 14 with these hair plus headband combos, really awesome. The headband is a little bit big, that's I guess my only issue, but really not a big issue at all. I also love the use of the half masks, I think it fits very nicely with these minifigures. And yeah, for Lloyd also what you see is his face print is a bit different. Uh, let's see if we can get a better look, yeah there. So you see he has these uh, face paints which I guess is supposed to be like camouflage, and I think that's cool, I think it fits him. And on the back he has a more serious expression. And uh, yeah, I think that's really good, but regarding the rest of the suit, the colors are great. I feel like one thing that's really nice about this suit is it's very dark. So the legs are pretty dark, the torso is dark, and you know, whereas the, the arms are a bit brighter, I think it's really good. But definitely what's great here is the detail on that torso. There's just so much going on. You have kind of these Feathers here, a strap going down diagonally, and then a belt. Uh, this belt has pouches. You've got his L symbol in the middle, but yeah, there's just so much detail going on here. And also these suits use the season 11 armor piece, which I think 
looks great here. And uh, overall, I'm a huge fan of this suit. I think it's simply fantastic and yet another fantastic Lloyd suit. Next up is going to be Nia suit. This is another really good one. And in general, I'm not a huge fan of gray suits for Nia, but this one is definitely one of the better ones, if not her best gray suit. And the reason why is because there's a lot of blue here. Personally, I really love seeing blue on the gray suits. Gray is just inherently not a great color in my opinion. It's, it's kind of drab. It needs other colors, I think, to complement it. And what I really like here is that blue is very vibrant. It goes along with the gray really, really well, and these two colors blend together very nicely. First up, I like that her arms are blue. I think that's definitely a step in the right direction, and it really adds some color to her suit. And then also the uh, main torso is great too. So kind of these two straps or lines going down, forming this V-shape. Even on this one on the right, you see some white lines, great detail. And up here is her season 11 symbol. Yeah, all of that is awesome. Also, this belt is very detailed. Whoops, I knocked her over a bit. Uh, also, this belt is very detailed as well. I really like it. And um, yeah, as for her legs, she's got some symbols or designs going across her knees and then a uh, more traditional style karate belt in blue as well. So overall, I think this is a great suit. Also, I like the use of a blue mask as opposed to a gray mask. And I think this one is really good. Again, definitely one of the, her... Um, her better, her better post-movie season, her post-movie gray suits, excuse me. Yeah, this is a really good one. And then we have a keeper as well. So I gotta say, they look a lot better in the show than they do here, but still in set form, they do look pretty good. First up, what I love here is this shield. It's so detailed and so colorful. I really like this. You've got some red, yellow, uh, kind of turquoise, and a monster, maybe this is supposed to be Wohira in the center, so I think that's really good. It looks fantastic. And um, yeah, as for the actual keeper, I like this color as well. I think it's a nice kind of muted or calm pastel purple, which I think is really nice. And then going on uh, up here, we have a hat, kind of like a sensei hat, the ones that they use in recent sets for stuff like Heavy Metal and the new Stone Warriors. It's good, I like this shade. But let's take it off so we can get a better look and kind of remove some of that shadow. The head print is great. I really like these symbols, kind of like lightning symbols. And this to me is kind of, you know, where I think the show got its inspiration for the designs. In the show, these guys look like they're kind of made of lightning almost. And that's, I think, a similar feeling, I guess, what's going on up here with these stripes of a more darker purple. So I think it's really good. Also in the back, um, you have some there as well. And then there's the torso in the back, particularly looks really good. If we go around to the front, I like how he kind of has an amulet or jewel hanging from his neck in, again, this turquoise color. And then the rest of him looks like some clothing. You got some pieces of armor going across the knees and then a belt, again, with these turquoise details, three on each side here, and then tan kind of going on at the back, uh, shades of brown. Overall, it's a really good minifigure. Again, I do think these guys look better in the show. They're just... A bit more vibrant, they kind of fit the keepers more and they feel more lightning-y, I guess. That's not a word, but you get what I mean. But I still think these are really nicely designed minifigures as always. Overall, I'm definitely a fan of this set. I haven't actually bought a Ninjago bike since maybe season eight. And I think this one was a good, I guess, return to bikes for me. I really like the way it looks. It looks great. I love the sale. I think that's super creative. The minifigures are great, especially the season 14 suits. I really love some of Ninjago's best suits. Keepers are nice too. Again, I don't know if other people have this issue, but this set just isn't stable. It falls over a lot. It's really unbalanced, unfortunately. And honestly, that's the only issue I have here. So I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Really good looking set, good minifigure selection. Probably would get a higher score if it was, again, more sturdy or more stable. But aside from that, it's pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Share your thoughts on the Juggle Trapper bike below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.